What are we doing today? Uh, we're going to delete the EGR without buying, without to have buying the, the kit. This is my advice. Take this one off first so you can take the EGR. It's more easy because there's a screw over here. It's kind of hard, but if you take this one, it's more easy. And it only takes two, three screws in here. And I'll show you in a little bit how it's gonna lose after that. All right. And what we're gonna do, like I did it on my Jeep Liberty, instead of buying that, spend all that money, just get this one, take this thing in here, there's two screws, we take this one off, so this thing is gonna be open. And the EGR, we're gonna disconnect it. So, it's always gonna be working better without the EGR. Okay, we got this plate right here, two screws, and we took it out. So this thing is still gonna work, but when it closes, it's not, nothing to close, it's gonna be clear, so it's not gonna send the fumes to the EGR. So this is how it's gonna work. This is the two screws that I took it out from here. And you have to be very careful not messing up because it can mess it up real quick. So I use this as a 15 millimeters, but you can figure it out anyway. I'm not gonna tell you all of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the EGR. But since we're not gonna use it, we're not gonna plug it in. This is the one we're gonna connect the turbo. And this one we can connect. Well, this one goes over here on the bottom. That should have. All right, we're putting back the hose over here. So. Okay, we're ready. Uh, I'm gonna cross my fingers, it works like I did on my Jeep. Uh, it's supposed to work, it's got the same thing. So, let me start. Feels pretty good. 